Good morning, world. We are talking to you from Las Palmas Marina. We are going to be crossing the Atlantic. We cannot wait. We are on Catamaran Irradiance with our friends Diane and Peter, Peter being the captain, Diane being his wife. And um, they asked us about two years ago now, nearly 18 months ago, um, if we would like to be crew, and we said yes. So we arrived last night, New Year's Eve, um, in time for the marina party, which was awesome. So we all had a few drinks, and we're just chilling out this morning and looking around the boat, making sure we know what's what on the boat. So very excited. So I'll give you a little tour of the Radiance, which is a Fontaine Pajot. Um, Lucia. Um, this is the salon area, I guess you would call it, because it extends in through to the interior of the boat, which is absolutely brilliant because we've got no steps. And I've got the galley, um, three ring burner, we've got a coffee machine, which is absolutely excellent, an oven, and a microwave. And then you've got the the owner's version, which is the three cabin, uh, captain and first mate, or Diane, sleep in that one. And then down in this one, there are two cabins. Ours is the aft cabin. Uh, yeah, the aft cabin. All for keeping an eye out. So we've got a nice double bed, plenty of storage. It's down the side. And our head It's not easy to film actually but um, got the shower room at the end and the head on this side. Plenty of storage on the back. And then the third cabin. Just there. Looking gorgeous. No. So this is Di. This is our captain, one of our captains. She looks amazing. No. Cooked his egg and chips last night when we got here. It was absolutely fantastic. We had a lovely party last night, so we had a good time. So yeah, we're your crew. Oh no, tell me about it, I know. <laughs> New Year's Day headache. Yeah, I think we're I think we were all suffering a little bit first thing this morning. Eased off now though. Guys are doing some lunch. So these are the Viking Explorer boats with their flags out. So that may, might mean getting the other four varieties depending yes. on what they are. Okay. Yeah. And then we can lay them out tomorrow and have a little buffet and yep, try, them, and try them all out. What would you have with them? them? Do you want something like a bit of rice or potato so we, or yeah. something? We're planning the meals yeah. for the journey. You can always have potato with a um, Exactly. So which obviously leads to meals. the provisioning. Yeah, spaghetti. Yeah. And yeah. So put it on a calendar yeah. and so a list. To work out. What are the meats? 48 eggs. 48 eggs. Yeah. <laughs> You'll remember that 24 now. 24 chicken breasts. 
So far. And yeah. a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> <laughs> Just because it's Christmas. <laughs> So that we've considered on our way to do the provisioning. So got a list or two lists or three lists. So we're moving on to Chandler's, which is the second one along from the marina where we are. Um, yeah, we we'll have to visit one or two of these before we leave, I think. We'll get some fishing gear and a few other bits before we set off. So the weather forecast is good for the 6th, so we've got another four days to go before we leave, um, which means it could all change, but uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed that the weather stays as it says it's going to be and uh, we actually get away. This is the supermarket, I think. What are we looking for now? Goodness knows, everything. That's the one. Oh, he's over there. We don't need many, do we? If we're having pancakes. Everything looks very fresh. Looks really fresh, doesn't it? Looks good. Yeah, I mean, what we're doing are we getting No, nope, not today. We're going to get them tomorrow or Wednesday. So we just finished shopping, we're waiting for it to be delivered. It's going to take a few hours, um, but 600 euro worth of shopping. Oh, well, didn't I? <laughs> What's this then, flags? Yeah, getting flags ready. This is my flag box for all the countries we've sailed to on the boat <coughs> into all these countries. And then these are all the Caribbean countries. So we've got a little repair to do on the uh, dinghy. Oh, right, yeah. Only on the chaps, but... Yeah, we just got the... Uh, I think the sun's just attacked the stitching over the last three and a half years, so... Uh, yeah. Dee's kindly offered to stitch this back on. It's, like, it's starting to go all the way along, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, do you have some paracord that can attach these to me so I don't lose them in the water? So we've got two days to go. Yeah. And um, most of the jobs are done now. We've. We've done the horseshoe, we've done the lights, we've checked everything, we've double checked everything, we've treble checked everything, and we checked the sails. And the wind is due to be okay for the first day. Um, day two, three, and four are supposed to be quite windy. So we're going to use the head sail mostly, um, probably won't be able to get the Jenica out, but it could be a little bit rolly. And, uh, yeah, a bit uncomfortable, so we, we, we'll just keep an eye on it anyway. It could change in the next couple of days. Not as easy as you thought. It was never going to be easy with the position of it, but the material's obviously tough. I've got a rubber dinghy underneath that I don't want to puncture. Yeah, very Not an easy job. No, at least I'm in the shade. And... Is it any easier like that? It is a little bit, yeah. All, the, all of these boats on this particular pontoon, on very, most of them anyway, are actually doing the uh, the crossing. It's all done through the Viking Explorers, which is 25 boats. What's happening, Marita? Hey. What's happening? Oh, um, Nick's changing our anodes. Wow. Because of this. <laughs> oh, grief. We knew they were going, but we thought we'd leave it until after we'd spent this long period of time in the marina. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and while he's down there, he's going to clean up the props because you can see how much growth we've got. Is that just, just from, by being here? Yeah, because we, um, when we left La Linea, we had scrubbed the, all the hulls. How, how are you doing down there? Uh, it's not too bad, actually. Yeah? 
It's I'm sorry, chill off now. I've only done one crop. Yeah. Six, 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 six. So we're two days away. We have done quite a lot of work. We've done all the provisioning, stored it, um, got a bit more cooking to do, which we're going to try and do tomorrow. And um, yeah, I think we're getting there. We've already set up the, or partially set up the barber hauler for, and we've got the, uh, the Genoa out, the head sail. Because obviously we're going to have sea from behind, which is going to mean it's going to collapse in when we go down a wave. So we put the barber hauler on so that uh, that minimises that. And hopefully um, the Jenica out, so we'll have the Jenica and the head sail um, in lighter winds. What are you doing? I'm just taking some of the video off the, um, off the camera. Got well, lots I've took it off the camera because obviously you've got the camera. But, um, We've got lots of bits lying around. Um, yeah, yeah. Lots of few lures just that we bought. Setting up the underwater camera. Ready for the fishing. Sorting out the underwater camera so that we can look down at the props. Keep an eye on everything before yeah, we go. Brand new, so... Um, yeah, hopefully it'll, it'll work okay. okay. Um, they've been putting straps on the dinghy to try and get it as high as possible and supported. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling excited actually. We, uh, we've got another two days to go, well, a day and a half to go now. And um, everybody seems about ready. And mm. Our captain and wife, um, Peter and Diane, have been great. They've just been really busy. So we've kind of just fitted in and done whatever they need us to do. And yeah, tried to help them out as much as possible. It's a bit hectic along the pontoon at the minute because everybody's doing the last preparations and um, there's stuff everywhere all over the yeah. pontoon. Are you getting excited yet? I am actually now, now that we've got quite a lot of the prep done. We've done a lot of food. Um, you and Peter have sorted out yeah. cleaning the mast and yeah. making sure that all the lines are unchafed and ready. Yeah, I think the boat's prepped to, just about as much as it can be prepped, to be honest. To possibly prep it, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's, there's a question at the minute as to whether we're actually going to be leaving on Friday now because of the weather, but... So it's Wednesday today. We're leaving, apparently, on Friday morning. So we've got, you know, tw two days to yeah. see what the weather does. So. Yeah. It's quite a long walk into town from where we are, isn't it? Yeah, it's about a 20-minute, 25-minute walk. So we're back in the supermarket again. I know. We're this time... Things to put in our grab bag that are healthy, and fill you up with energy. So Brazil nuts and um, apricots, dried apricots, we know are good. Yeah, we want to put something in the grab bag that we can chew on for a few days, like um, apricots, dried apricots, um, a few nuts to keep our energy levels up. What are you doing? So we're in the pastry aisle. We have no idea what half of them are, but we're going to give them a go anyway. Yeah, no. Here for dinner. Last night together. What are you doing, Neil? Arms around it. Arms around it. Sorry, Mike, will you can have it back now? Stop, <laughs> Stop, <laughs> now. Stop <Yeah>. hiding. <laughs> Cheers. 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 We're nearly there. No. Nearly there. Nearly there. <laughs> are we there yet? Yes. <laughs> So it's all getting a bit hectic now. All the fruit and veg has been delivered to the last deliveries. Um, the pontoon is chock a block busy with people fixing, repairing, sorting, organising, throwing. Well, it's been a busy morning, hasn't it? It's getting a bit hectic now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. What have we been doing? Um, well, cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> More cleaning. Yeah, just last minute preps really, just getting things ready. Um, the grab bags needed to be sorted out, they've been sorted out now, so um, most things like the, uh, the water and the medical stuff and all our documents, that's uh, the grab bags done. Mm -hmm.